Mm. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another daily buzz to you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who've been rocking with your girl from the start, I do appreciate you guys all so very much. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. Just so happens to stumble across this video, see something that you do like or hear. Join our colony, join our tribe by hitting the subscription button down below. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do premiere content to the channel. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Go ahead and get a quick little message out for y'all. I don't know what this video is going to consist of. We're just going to pull some cards and get a message out. Um, I hope this resonates for one of you, some of you, all of you. Hit the thumbs up button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Make sure to leave your comments, your emoji. All of that helps to energetically donate to our abundant and prosperously growing channel. If you want to donate to our channel um, or book a personal reading with me, check the description box. Or the community tab. I'm sorry. Is it the community tab? Somewhere in there, y'all. My information is listed. Um, okay, Spirit. Give us some messages. What kind of energy is buzzing around the collective? What kind of energy is buzzing around the collective? Ooh, round, round and round. I'm hearing merry go round and round. On and off again in love. A dead end or a repetitive behavior. Hmm. I don't know why this devil energy keep coming out. It says scheming, deception, ulterior motives. Someone is not who they claim to be or something is not what it appears to be. Be watchful of who you let in. When you feel you're going nowhere, it's time to make a decision to break the unhealthy cycle you're in. So I get with this energy is like someone may be telling you one thing and doing another another. Like it's like someone don't their words don't make their match their actions, or this person may lack follow through. Um, someone has an ulterior motive for coming back towards you. This could be someone that you had been on again, off again with. But it's kind of like, okay, so it's like, where do we go from here, right? This person is very deceptive. Very deceptive. Their ulterior, like, it's, it's not going to change. It's going to still be the same continuous cycle with this person. This, um, it says resurrection, resurrection emerging. So this is someone who has a strong, they're tethered to you very strongly. This person has a strong tether to you. I don't even know if that makes sense. A strong tether. This right here, this image to me is reflecting on the um the devil card. I don't know if y'all can see it, especially with this image here with the will of fortune. It's like a karmic cycle. This is a karmic cycle. Divine time. It's time, it's time for someone to close the cycle with someone. Um, resurrection emerging strength is like someone may be coming towards you or, or towards you in an attempt to resurrect. But um, it's like, what it, what is it that you want to do? Like, going back towards this person is going to put you in another karmic cycle and it's going to delay your blessings. It, whatever you have cultivating is going to end it. It's going to end it. I, I don't know who this is that needs to hear this message, but um, that's the wrong way. It says access granted. The right path. Yes. Allow right choice. That's what I'm saying. That's I said that's the wrong way. And this card came out. Right path. That's not the right path. This path right here is a it's filled with deception, schemes, ulterior motives, dead ends, on again, off against love, repetitive cycles, repetitive behaviors with people. Um, the new path is the way to go. I'm seeing Ace of Cups. Some of you definitely have new new love coming in. Under the deck, it says uh let the old version continue to die while the new version of this love story continues to birth and bring new hope. Divinity unfolding, remembering roots, purity. So some of you, if you have, if you're dealing with someone or um, even if you're not dealing with someone, the, uh, the, the best option, the route you should take is forward. Don't go back. It says twin flame. There's no running from this love. Both of you crave this magic. Trust the transforming power of love. Mirroring, mirroring opposites attracting yin and yang. So for some of you, you may be meeting your twin flame. Or for some of you, this karmic cycle that you've been on has been with your twin flame. So it could be a karmic twin or false twin. Or, you know, like hell. You know, so not everybody's twin doesn't wake up in this lifetime. So this person could, this could you know, definitely be someone that you were supposed to do. Um, mission work spiritual work with you had a spiritual mission with this person especially if they're your twin flame but this person didn't wake up your person didn't wake up in time but i'm hearing this time the time is now especially with that divine time and card showing itself is like which way do you want to go it's like somebody standing up looking at a fork in a road look stuck between two some of you may definitely have a decision to make i, I won't cap with y'all four 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 on a time or some of you may definitely have a decision it says caught in a love triangle with one dead side Wrestling with the essences of attraction, love, commitment, and integrity. Love triangle, juggling, love affair, cheating. 
And I'm not saying that, you know, this is a love triangle. You just may have a choice between two people. Or someone could be cheating. This could be, you know, someone you've been in a repetitive cycle with. This a repetitive behavior is this person can't stop cheating. You know, they cheat, you leave, they come back on and off again. It's like you you can never get over the hurdle with this person. It's like five of pen five of pinnacles. I'm seeing like obstacles. It's, 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 I, the obstacles are daunting with this person. Like you can never make it past go. Um, whereas if you choose this alternate route here, the staircase is out here, the staircase to heaven. The stairways the staircase to heaven or hell. Which one? will you choose some someone definitely has a decision and it, this doesn't necessarily mean uh this love triangle could be between you this past person and your future it don't have to be a person in particular you know like remembering who you are remembering your roots going back to your divinity right or just leaving this person behind and focusing on your own journey your own spiritual journey or just journey of self it's going to lead you right where you're supposed to be and it's not with this person the new the new path the new way pave a new way pave the way you're supposed to be doing something new. What else? Closed door. When facing a closed door, use it to steer you in the right direction. Remember, it's closed for a reason. No obstacle, roadblock, challenge. Oh, it says no. Like, no. So, this one says the right path. Yes. This says no. Obstacle, roadblock, challenge, limitation. This is what's limiting you from your greatest potential. This right here. And this could be a person in particular. This could be hell, family members. This could be friends. This could be a job. There's something that you need to decide to relinquish. Something has to be let go. Lessons unlocked. Have you learned the lesson? Like I said, if this is someone coming back from the past, or if this is someone in a new person in the same old energy, it's almost like, have you learned the lessons? Can you see the red flags? Have you do you know the cues? Okay. Are you going to stay stuck in your south node, what it is you're comfortable with, or are you going to pave a new path? I spoke earlier about a phoenix rising. It's not a phoenix rising, but it's a lotus, like it's opening up. Something is getting ready to blossom. It says searching. When searching for a D1, you must first find love for yourself before going from one love to the next. Looking for love, unsatisfied, grass is greener. And that's what I'm saying. For some of you, you may need to find the time that you're upon right now is self-love. That's the kind of love that's coming towards you. Or that's the kind of love that you should be seeking to embark upon is the love of self. Like really pouring into yourself. Um, Time of introspection. You know, when you move towards things that ultimately make you happy, we're doing things for your greatest and higher goods, greatest and highest good that ultimately attracts the things to you that are needed. Look, didn't I just fucking say magical flow? Effortless. Stay fluid. Allow surrender. Allow the magic of life to flow through you and open yourself up to all the wonderful possibilities of love don't limit yourself to what it is that you know or who it is that you're comfortable with because there's a familiarity there a familiar familiar is a south node y'all that's a comfort zone you never grow in a comfort zone introspection it says learn to face your own shadows because when you change the world around you also changes in solitude shadow work interchanges this is what you need to be embarking on like, don't let nobody come in and throw you off your game. And I, this may be what you're working on right now that's really focusing a, a, a focus of self, right? And it could be some alternate energies. Like, some alternate energies, this could be someone in particular. See, I talked about nurturing. You nurturing on yourself, and it, it it's manifesting what it is that you want. It's a new dawn, a new day, a new life. And right under that is divine feminine. Oh, wow. Yin, a woman, femininity, creative goddess. Change, a new beginning, endings, first stages love languages cultivating love slow growth this is you growing slowly in self-love that way you can manifest and which what it is your dreams into reality whatever those things are be careful though um look there's someone around you it says secret spine this could be someone that's watching what it is that you're cultivating or seeing that you're growing you know and that you're just pouring into yourself listen trust me someone people can know people know when you're being well tended to right and right under that is chasing right so this may not be chasing in a physical but this person is secretly spying they're watching everything you do whatever platforms you're on whatever way they could see you they're they're watching they are watching at, they they make it a point of their everyday life to watch to see what it is that you have going on divine feminine and if you, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman you could be in divine feminine energy period don't come don't get in the which i don't ever have people nasty in the comments but you know hmm. it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life i want to see what the hell this person got going on over here what is their motive? It's because it did say ulterior motive. So what is this person's motive for coming towards you? What is this person's motive for coming towards the collective spirit? 
Tell me. Tell me. Tell me this person's motive for coming towards my collective. It's clear it says closed door. So this is a door that you need to close. That it's been an ongoing cycle with. And this person has a lot of secrets. Um, this person, the secrets. So this person have a lot of secrets that you know don't know about. Or things that's being hidden. Or things that transpire. Why you and this person were separated. If this some, is someone that's coming back from the past. This person is not going to be very forthcoming. And which could be the reason why you close the door on them to begin with. This person could have a lot of secrets. It's just an ongoing thing. Like you can never get this person to open up or just be honest, right? About anything. It's always a challenge with this person. The, 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 the behavior is, is repetitive. It's like it's ongoing. You can never... What What is this person's intentions? It says ulterior motives. What is this person's intentions for coming back towards the collective? Is it because they're seeing like, yeah, people know when you're doing healing now. When you're doing good, when you're looking good. You know, they could smell it. Especially a narcissist. They could smell it. It's almost like they can smell when you're getting away. This is the energy of you healed and you've healed and it's like you, you've you got away. They always come back. They always come back. This is their energy. What is this person's motives? What is their intentions for coming towards the collective? What is it? What is it? What is it? Love story. A true love story never ends. Let's start a new chapter. And it says here, repetitive behavior. No obstacle. No obstacle. Roadblock challenge. Limitation. This person is coming back to keep you stuck. They're coming to enter prey on your vulnerability. Not say vulnerability, but this person could be coming into prey on your emotions, the love that they that you have, or the love that they think that you have for them. Or this person could come in love bombing you. Like the secret could be love. So they could come in, like suppose this person never expressed to you their emotions or how they felt about you. Um, there a way for them to get you to open up that door that you closed on them is to come in expressing love. And I feel like this is love bombing is very a very shitty thing to do. Because why would you wait on until I'm out the door that I close the chapter and I have no longer want anything to do with you to come back towards me. That's that shit I don't like. Because I'm doing good without you. Like people, you know, it, it, it gets to a point to where, you know, they could leave you or you could leave them or whatever. When people notice that you're doing good, especially if you're doing better now that you separated from this person or these people. And like they want a piece of the pie. It's almost like they realize, maybe realize that they have been a problem. Especially if you leveled up collective. Especially if you leveled up. This person is trying is coming to keep you stuck. Look, balance. They're trying to come out and balance it. And this is what the balance is gonna be. This person is going to they're trying going to try to lift the blocks by love bombing. Like expressing love, showing love to you, or finding balance between giving and receiving. This person is going to want to come in and do an equal give and take. But be careful. Be careful because it says love bombing. It says it don't say love bombing. It says dead end. It says obstacle, roadblock, challenge. There's a limit here. Secrets, deception, scheming, ulterior motive, repetitive behavior, dead end, off, on and off again, love. So whatever the repetitive behavior was for this situation in the past, it's going to be that again. It's just going to be good. It's going to get good for a little while. Like maybe the first six weeks, the first six months. But this person is going to go back to their damn, to their, I was going to say their mischievous ways. But then I heard devilish. They show me these horns. This person is something else. This person is fucking something else. The balancing of the scale. This could be, um... Mm -hmm. What is their motive? Like this person is trying to, they trying to, they trying to regain some kind of control. Like this person is trying to get to you to see them the way you once did. Look, true love, love story, true love. This person is coming to prey on, yeah, like you know, especially if you, you know, you shared your this of your feelings with this person, they're gonna come in, um, hoping and banking on the fact that your that your feelings have remained the same. This person is coming in with the same old game, y'all. Ah, uh, look, empty stage. It says, I feel empty without you. The, you're the spot out of my heart. Like I'm saying, once you left it or exited this person's life, or even if they exited your life, you took a light. You turned the light off. Somebody turned the light off. Now this person is realizing what you brought into their life. This person does not feel whole without you. This is someone who feels like, um, not say that you make them what they are, but this person... They rely on your energy in some way to make them happy, to make them feel the way they feel, to make them feel loved. Reconciliation is here under the deck. Telling y'all, self-love, look, 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 I can't make this shit up. Y'all see this deck? 
it says reconciliation seeing you again reminds me that life is better with you in it so this person is I, again i see you out here looking good doing good living your best life really pouring into yourself like you know it, it, it shows on you physically physically when you're pouring into yourself when you're loving on yourself when you're well kept when you're taking care of yourself this person may feel like you're it, this is because of someone else um but it's really because of self-love it says i'm learning to love myself and make my happiness for a priority so that's what i'm just saying this person they relied on your energy a lot for them to build ha feel happy for them to feel whole it's like your your type of energy um your energy brought something fulfilling to this person now without it they feel like an empty stage i feel empty without you um uh, but again as i was saying here you are look, doing better, looking good, doing better. And this person is jealous that you're doing it without them. It says jealousy. This person is jealous that you're doing without them. I want to know what their motive is. Sacrifice and compromise. Look, y'all, it's almost like this person is going to want you. They want to come in and compromise. But the compromise is going to be you sacrificing self-love. Like this person is going to want you to conform. It's almost like you're going to have to conform to their way of doing things. It's like get with it or get lost. It's almost like get with the program. Get with what I, I, what I want you to do. Like this person wants you to enter a karmic cycle with them. Period. It may feel like, you know, you are their true love. And this may be someone that you spend some time apart with. But keep in mind, this person has options. It says choices. And under that is wear and tear. If this person been around the block now, this, per this love is starting to wear on me. Something has to change. This person has been around the block. It's almost like they can't keep up with what they've been keeping up with. But they're going to continue to try. Especially if they can keep what they have and, and have these options too. So they feel like you're the one for them. They feel like you are their true love. You came out as divine feminine. The yin, you're right? Where where there's a yin, there has to be a yin. This, this masculine or this energy, whoever this is, they see you ushering in a new dawn for yourself divine feminine whoever you are they see you're in the flow of magic they see you nurturing on yourself they see you taking time for yourself to go in to do self introspection they see your nurturing spirit this person wants your healing energy nurture magical flow divine feminine introspection that's a that's an inner energy that could be felt <coughs> especially with this devil energy this person wants to they want to this water it's almost like this person wants you to replenish them especially with this wear and tear this person wants you to replenish them because this person they didn't went around look travel look what look what i spit it on nothing solid in celebration this is like a three of cups energy and right under that is a hot and cold behavior and right under that is player i'm not i can't make this up and right under that is healing this hit this player wants you to heal them they could want you to do it with sex there's a lot of red here. To me, indicates passion. Apology is here. Foolish is here. And ego is here. And it's almost like this person... <laughs> this person got a lot going on. It's almost like they know they need to apologize to you for something. They're feeling like a fool about it. This person feels... It says, I like the maturity to handle a person like you. Like you're too much for this person, divine femme. It's like you're divine femme to options. Two options. This person wants to juggle a divine feminine with outside options. 1818 on the time. This is ludicrous. Look, divinely guided and work and left hanging. It's almost like you're leaving this person hanging. You left, they could have left you out in the corner. Now you're leaving them hanging. Like this person, uh, especially with this clock being here, this person may have thought that you would have reached out to them by now. That some way, somehow, with divinely guided, you would have found your way back or something would have worked. They may have felt felt like left leaving you hanging and going off with someone else. Um, and you hearing about it, look, three's a crowd on you feeling rejected would have made you come back. They they could have thought that it would have made you stick around. And you know, like waiting for the commitment, right? And being lonely, waiting on them to return to give you the commitment. All while they were moving secretly, um, with some kind with some sort of karmic. Yeah. Uh, Y'all can't see it. It's dark. But this person ran away from you because they were playing games with some sort of karmic. And it's because this there was an obsession here. It says obsession, contemplation, and deception. This person made the decision to have a new beginning with something that was deceptive. With this obsession here, it could be something that, you know, playing games. That could be an obsession or karmic type love. This person is addicted to toxicity. The for Almost the second card out was the devil. I want to see what they're coming... What what their intentions are. 
I want to see what their intentions are. Because still, even here, they're not making it clear as to why they're coming back towards the collective. And I don't like it. It's almost like this person will try to... They almost got me, y'all, talking about other shit. You see how I just went off on a tangent, started talking about other things, and I lost the question that I was asking what they, what, what are their intentions. Like, this person don't want you to see them coming. Look, death and rebirth, transformation. Again, death energy. Like, some cha something changed. This person wants you to transform something. This person feels like they're dying inside. Like, this person is just an empty shell. They an empty shell. This person is an empty shell, y'all. They don't know what the fuck they want. This person, they use a lot of, they have unhealthy coping mechanisms. This person may be, may, they may, um, escapism, use escapism as a form to forget about, you know, things that they need to work on. The shadow side. What is this person's intentions for coming towards the collective? What is their intentions for watching and wanting to reach out? What is their intentions for wanting a new beginning with the collective? Because I saw eight of cups. Ace of cups. Ooh. I said eight of cups. So you walked away. This person may be afraid. Um, they want a new beginning with you, but they may be afraid because they walked away or they're afraid that you that you walked away from them. They may be afraid as well that now you have options. The scales are now balanced because now they're not the only one with options, right? Hmm. Hmm. Or they may be trying to come back like to say, you know, well, I have options. You have options. Well, can we be each other's option? It's like this person still wants you, wants to juggle you. This person wants you in their mix. Like, they don't, ugh. What is their intention, spirit? Shit. Look, empress. Look. They can't, empress in reverse, y'all. And three of pentacles. Like I'm saying, they want to juggle empress. They want this, em they want this empress out of her element. They ain't, that's some shit. This divine feminine. They want you out of your element. This person wants you in karmic energy, divine fem. Three and three, pinnacle. This person wants to juggle you. That's what I'm saying. This person, they're not coming in to offer you nothing solid. That card came out, nothing solid. Emperors in reverse is like cultivating. Um, It's like abundance, femininity, beauty, growth. This person is not, it's nothing that's going to grow. The card came out dead end. Repetitive, Um, what, what did they say? Repetitive behavior, dead end, on and off again. This person is not coming in to offer you anything solid anything solid for some of you be careful sleeping with this person they may be trying to get you pregnant but they're gonna leave they're gonna leave they're not gonna stay there you're gonna go through a pregnancy on your own and this person gonna be with options this person dealing with somebody i'm telling y'all this is someone that like attention this person like attention they come their intention is to come in and not to cultivate anything that page of pentacles that might have came out in the last year that page of pentacles this person is coming in with little to nothing to offer this person is coming in because they want some attention they want some attention they want you to talk to them not a pinnacle slow to offer this person ain't got shit to offer shit and even in communication like it might come in like they may you know want to talk to you you may start communicating with this person like i said the six like six weeks six months this person gonna be back to doing the same old shit the conversation is going to get less and less. Look, eight of, eight, of cup, eight of cups. Don't let this person come in and play you now. If this is someone that goes to you all left, don't let this person come in and, and, and sell you that same wolf ticket. Because that's what they finna do. What else? Temperance, yeah? Yeah. They coming to throw you off balance. Emperors in reverse with the temperance. This is about balance. Off balance. This balance here. They trying to throw you off your fucking game. This person coming to try to manipulate you emotionally, y'all. This person, a uh, uh, empress, is very abundant. She's very fluid. Like, she has much to give. This person is coming to drain you, empress. 23, 23, 23 on the, on the timer. This person is coming in to throw you off kilter. Empress, she's seated. She don't move. She attracts. This person wants you to chase them. It's almost like they want you to come off your throne, empress in reverse, to chase them. They want you to come out of your peace. This person is going to rattle your fucking peace. That's what they want to do. This person is going to throw you off balance. And they're going to do it with their charm. For some of you, they might try to do it with their money. Ace of Cups. But look, look what's under it. Eight of Swords to trap. They're going to come in charming, talking. The talk's going to be good. They may come in showering you. You're claiming to be stable. Try to lure you in with money, lavishing you, buying you nice things. Um, pretending that they're going to stay with this Ace of Cups. And they may have some love for you, you know. But listen, it's a means to trap. Five of Wands is to have you conflicted in your emotions, right? And as quick as they come with this Eight of Wands, it's going to be as quick as they fucking go. With this, this Knight of Swords. I hope this resonated for one of you, some of you, all of you. Until next time, love and light.